Hi, my name is Hiromichi Akimoto. This is the introduction to a new wave energy converter concept, single bucket wave turbine. Different from wind energy or marine current energy, wave energy propagates two-dimensionally on the sea surface. Therefore, a wave energy resources is measured by the line density unit, kilowatt per meter, not by the area density. It indicates the output of a wave energy converter depends mainly on its wave front width. There are many existing concepts of wave energy converters. They are oscillating water column type, wave topping type, and oscillating body type converters. One of the famous converters is a pyramids. Uh, it converts the bending action on the long-shaped body to electricity. This one is oyster. It converts the surging wave motion to the, uh, to the electricity. The main problem of existing wave energy converter concepts is they are all massive. If we consider the scaling up of a wave energy converter, the uh, output of the device will increase slowly in proportion to the wave front width of the device. It is quite different from the uh, condition in wind turbine applications, where the output is proportional to the uh, square of turbine diameter. Uh, the cost of the device will increase in a higher pace. The cost will be proportional to square to cube of the device size. Uh, it indicates the severe situation of wave energy convert converter. The economic performance of the device uh, power per cost decreases with size. To get the merits of scale in the scaling up of the device, uh, the wave energy converters require some features. It should be lightweight and uh, the, the device should be linearly extendable in the wave front direction. The rotational device turbine can be an economical wave energy converter because the device is not massive and the turbine axis can be linearly extendable in the direction parallel to the wave front. One example is cycloidal turbine. The lift type cross flow turbine absorbs wave energy. One problem may be the size of the turbine, which is comparable with wavelength. Our solution is uh, the compact uh, drug type turbine, which absorbs orbital fluid particle motion in wave. Normal a drug type turbine does not rotate efficiently in wave because uh, two buckets of the turbine experience almost the same phase of the flow. There is one simple solution uh, which enhances the uh, efficiency of the turbine. It is removing one bucket, one of the two buckets, but, and replace it by the streamlined counterweight. At the peak of the wave, the position of the bucket is in the top position. It keeps rotation uh, synchronized with the wave phase. And the, uh, uh, the bucket keeps right angle to the incoming wave-induced flow. Actual condition may be more complicated because there will be interaction between the bucket and wave-induced flow. To check the concept, we conducted preliminary numerical flow simulation. This is an entire computational domain, and the, this one is a magnified view around the rotational bucket. The simulation is two-dimensional. This is a very rough calculation, and the rotational speed of the bucket is constant, with the assumption that the, uh, there is torque control system. As you can see, uh, the flow field around the bucket is uh, always 
uh, torque generating position this is the time history of torque in a simulation with higher resolution the water depth is intermediate so the uh, flow speed is not constant in a rotation period therefore uh, the torque shows time variation but you can see the average torque is positive there will be many types of installation of the device one example is floating wave turbine the turbine is installed on the float system uh, therefore it is applicable to wide range of water depth and the, uh, it will minimize the construction cost of the device and uh, electromechanics including generator uh, above the sea surface also the device can be combined with other floating uh, structures like uh, floating wind turbine the power to weight ratio is the good indicator of economic performance because the cost of a large ocean device is almost proportional to its weight. I calculated these three concepts. The uh, uh, ratio is ranging from 0.75 kilowatt per ton to 2.8 kilowatt per ton. In the present concept, it is uh, still rough calculation, but the uh, uh, expected uh, power to weight ratio is much higher than the existing concept. It is because the uh, device is not massive. The conclusion of this talk is as follows. Because the output of a wave energy converter is proportional to its wave front width, uh, conventional massive devices may not be economical. We introduced rotational wave energy converter, single bucket wave turbine, which directly converts the, the orbital fluid motion in wave. The device is lightweight and can be extended linearly in the wave front direction for the high economic performance. The preliminary computational fluid dynamics simulation demonstrated the torque generation of the device. Although there are some items which must be studied, the proposed device has a good potential in the future commercialization. Thank you for your kind attention.